sweet girl right there is doing math work today. That makes 49. 49, 49. I'm kind of sort of thinking about making some adjustments to the schoolroom. And in true Cameron fashion, we asked him about it and he that says absolutely not. He's my I mean, kid that doesn't like change. Wait, 93. Wait, wait. 90. <laughs> when she counts on her little fingers, that's my favorite. I think this camera has seen better days because I keep having to adjust the exposure and the focus and it Wait, hasn't mommy, been my mommy, friend lately. I don't get it. Look, it says Patrick has yes. 30, I mean, 93 books. Thea has 14 fewer books than Patrick. She, so she has uh, 79 books. What did you do? I counted backwards from 39. Hey. So show yeah, you but I'm saying, like, what do you put at right here under 93? 14. Oh! <laughs> I did clean out the backyard space the garden space yesterday because we received a package from a company called green stock that i'm very excited about they um, make vertical planters and she reached out to me several months ago with everything that's going on that was just in the furthest thing from my mind at the time but once we started setting up our garden space back there um, Brian reached back out to her and she sent us one of her vertical planters. I'm really excited about that. I think I have the perfect little spot in our backyard space for it and I'm currently trying to figure out what I'm going to put in the vertical garden. This is all new to me. Each year I get better and better and have more and more of a green thumb but it's not, it's not a natural born green thumb. <laughs> But do people really have natural born green thumbs? Everything is about living and learning. I feel like. At least that's what I think. I kind of sort of feel good about having three main spaces for them to kind of like explore and discover. You know how I do. Um, between the schoolroom and then right over there in the garage space. That's their like art studio maker space. And then now we have the garden space. Just a lot of moving pieces around here lately. The fence is done and it is looking better and better. Like the fence is looking better and better as it settles and as it rains and as it dries. So I feel really good about that. The grass, our grass in the backyard is growing in nicely, which feels a little bit frustrating because you take for granted all the nice plush grass that people have <laughs> until you try to grow some grass of your own. So we're gonna read a lot and write a little and um, it's grocery shopping day. So I'm probably going to have to sort through all the things and plan out prep meals, whatever I'm gonna do there. So it should be a nice, easy, relaxed day, which I need because my mind has been overwhelmed with a lot of current affairs, so I'm trying to just <laughs> nicely ease into the day, take it easy. I am going to grab my book so that I can go grab the kids and we can read. Savannah is currently getting her math done because uh, she wants to be nice and ready for gymnastics today and she knows that work comes first. So, and then today is actually Explorer Day, which means we try to focus on science and geography. 35 minus 6 is 29, right? Yes. I'm a math whiz. <laughs> I'm a math whiz. So what's happening is, I am Mommy's reading to us. I, uh, <laughs> I almost forgot you guys. Let's see, it is reading time. I like to stay hydrated with it. Oh. <laughs> it appeared and the handprint melted away. The image on the strange wall had restored itself. Ella looked down at her hand. Sure enough, some sort of paint was smeared all over it. Ew! She wiped the gunk off her pants. Gross! Richie was covered with paint. That they were soaking wet. Oh, great. He picked up his 
wash and saw the water had ruined it. So, we are reading The Secret Zoo. The Secret Zoo is my favorite book. Oh, every book we read is their favorite. <laughs> Penderwicks. You love the Penderwick? Yeah. You did? I didn't read the Penderwick. I mean the water will one. Yes, 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 yes. The Penderwick's my second. This my third. Kendall likes adventure books. Savannah likes stories with animals. Like no, princess, princess books. Cameron likes books. Uh, Cameron likes historical Long fiction. Books. I also like historical books like The Secret of the Hidden Schools and the Treasure Chest. Wait, the Escape Warriors from Aleppo was a historical book? Oh yeah, Escape from Aleppo was historical fiction. Um, the War That, the saved, war that my saved My Life. The War I Finally Won is historical okay. fiction. We are currently reading The Secret Zoo and we like it. And there's four other books. So, because we really dislike when we read a book and realize that the author wrote nothing else. So, authors, if you're writing books we love, we need you to keep writing books we love. <laughs> Cameron's watering his plants. Da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm making lunch, and while I make lunch, they are using their apple letters, nanograms, their letter tiles to uh, play together. So they are spelling words. Yeah. They started off by spelling words out of our book that we were I'm reading. And now they're kind of having, they've the adapted a game of their own. I like when they do this because Savannah spells words that are appropriate for her. The boys, um, each one of the boys spells words that are appropriate for them and then they challenge one another. So this little girl is now making a word search and she's excited. That's a really good idea, Savannah, to make a word search out of the um, letter tile. You guys out here doing Zoom calls, Zoom meetings with extracurricular activities. Fun. This little one, she seven, knows her password seven, and everything seven. for getting into her talk. out here in our outdoor space that is coming together nicely and I'm gonna look for some books so I spent quite a bit of time looking for books um, it's actually a lot harder of a job than it seems and as a matter of fact now that um, we have been in quarantine and such it's even harder um, because normally I get the majority of my book picks ideas whatever from the library and from places like bookstores like Barnes Noble and um, other bookstores so it's been hard <laughs> without the library so yeah it's been really hard without the library I'm so used to like gathering together my picks and then um, placing codes on my books and then picking them up and it's the best thing ever and <laughs> that's probably the number one thing that I have been missing since we have been um, on quarantine and I'm very much so 100% looking forward to that um, a blessing of a service to come back because right now I'm in a place where I am we're really not reading as much because we don't have it as many books. We are running fresh out, friends. Um, we are running fresh out. Uh, the kids have read pretty much through the majority, through the majority of our um, home library, and we need more stories. Um, and unfortunately, uh, I am I've signed up for our online service in conjunction with our library, um, but the kids do not love reading audiobooks let me know how you guys feel how your kids feel about reading audiobooks um i mean reading audiobooks let me know how your kids feel about reading ebooks is what i'm trying to say so we do listen to audiobooks but they love like reading reading and they are really not fans of uh reading through ebooks so i also thought i was gonna get to setting up our um vertical garden and that is probably not gonna happen today so maybe tomorrow because um i needed brian to pick up some potting soil um but i'm probably just not gonna get to that today so the kids and i will go ahead and get into that tomorrow i think we are going to put it over in that spot right there which is the perfect little spot for a nice tall vertical garden and hopefully we can get that done tomorrow. Yeah. 
<laughs> Bear, you making us dinner tonight? <laughs> so my chef Kendall has been cooking quite a bit lately. Who knew there was another part of the grill that could cook? Mm. Well, you did, but I didn't. I <laughs>